Tonight we're going to tell the old story in a new way, through the medium of jazz. And we hope you will find this fitting and seemly. This is our most spiritual season, and jazz is our most spiritual music. In the summer of 1985, John Garcia Gensel, the jazz pastor of St. Peter's Lutheran Church in New York, suggested Ann Phillips as the writer of a Christmas benefit to be held there. That was the birth of the jazz nativity. Dave Brubeck, Clark Terry, Jean Bertensini, and Maritha Stewart, who are still in the cast today, were in that very first show, with Pastor Gensel as narrator and Bob Kindred as musical director. Bob's haunting rendition of Silent Night created the opening mood in the darkened church that very first night, just as it does today. The show has moved to several sites since then. For seven years, it played at St. Bartholomew's Episcopal Church on Park Avenue. Sunday afternoon, people would line up on Park Avenue. Some waited outside in bitter weather, some were turned away. It has since played Avery Fisher Hall at Lincoln Center, the Lambs Theater, Orchestra Hall in Chicago, and even a synagogue, the Stephen Wise Free Synagogue in New York. As the show has grown, so has the audience. People who came one year brought friends the next. It mattered little whether they were jazz aficionados or not, because it was also wonderful theater. They loved it and went away with a new understanding and appreciation of jazz. Through the Jazz Nativity Children's Project, hundreds of inner city children were introduced to the music. More and more jazz greats joined the cast. Charles Kuralt from CBS Sunday Morning became the host. The Kings, Shepherds, and Angels have been played by Tito Puente, Lionel Hampton, Phil Woods, Al Gray, Clark Terry, Jackie Kane and Roy Crawl, and tap dancers Honey Coils, Cookie Cook, and Jimmy Slide. The ten-piece band is made up of the jazz world's best, including the Cuban conga master Candido. Each year's performances in New York are like a big jazz family reunion. The joy and love inherent in the show spreads out to the audience. Never has such a combination of jazz and theater been done. It is both moving and a rollicking good time. Softly falls the gentle night. In the darkness, there is light. As one reviewer said, this extraordinary performance will keep Christmas in your heart forever.